Hey guys, this is JV3 and we are back with another episode of Project Reject here with Sunderland in FIFA 20. It's, it was a good one last time out. We put seven goals on Middlesbrough and took a big, big victory. And now we see ourselves in ninth position here in the middle of December. We now play two middle of the table teams. It's Barnsley and Preston North End. So again, you know, the table is so tight as far as points and goal differential. If we can really be impressive, just like we were in that last one, and put a lot of goals in, hopefully help our goal differential and see ourselves at the table. It's two big ones. Let's get started here with Barnsley. So we'll get into this one and we will leave Lopez in the middle. He has a little bit better stamina and you know what, after, after a team scores seven goals, it's tough to take anyone out of the lineup. So we'll stick with it. Let's see what we can do here against Barnsley. And we'll get this one underway. Lopez slips it through to Picorni in the midfield. He'll cut back now, has it to Lopez, leaves it out wide here for Rinaldi to run on. Rinaldi cuts back, trying to find a center. It's Lopez right in front, a good shot denied by the keeper. While they get it into the box, we're out of position and near post, sir, can't do anything with it. Looks like our defender might have gotten hung up on one of their players and unfortunately it won't make a difference. Barnsley will put it in the back of the net and they'll make it an early one to nil here. While they get a good ball in behind our defense and Pitchler luckily clears it out and avoids his own net. Bailey sends the ball up and it's going to be Okora who's going to race onto it. Okora beats his man. Still coming Okora and taken down on a run. And that's, I mean, that's got to be a card and it's a straight red. You felt like it might have been. And they take him down with the man with five names, Barnsley, down to 10 men early in the game. Just trip up Okora on a run. Up through the middle, it's Gallo on the ball, racing forward. Now holds up, goes to Picorni. Looking to go up the middle. Picorni waiting for Gallo to get forward. He does. He gets into the box. Man advantage. Can we take advantage of it? No, just wide of the net. Lopez in the middle. Gets it up to Gallo. Gallo now looking for Picorni. Picorni looks to cut back inside, look to send it behind for Gallo, and he finds a perfect pass. The defender never picks it up. And we are lucky to level 1-1 before halftime. And Sunderland 1-1 here with a man advantage still and a lot of time with it. Well, hopefully we can take advantage of the fatigue, but right in front, Gallo puts one home. And we make it 1-1 again. Gallo picks up the loose ball, goes to Picorni. He's going to drive forward. Picorni's still coming. Now into the box. Holds up. Turns. Shoots. No. Saved by the keeper. They get into a good position in the middle. Oh, we couldn't make the stop. And luckily, Sir will break it up. And we'll end the half here on a corner kick for Barnsley as they have still had plenty of chances. And they get another one. Lopez has to clear it off the line. Gets it up here to Gustafson. Gets it off Bailey. Back into nice play and Bailey taken down. It will be a free kick on the edge of the box as we almost were able to create some offense. They were able to break it up before we got there. And this is going to be a dangerous position. Bailey loves this position right here. Can he put it in just like he did last time? We put it in. It's a good one, but the keeper will make the save. Lopez gets it up to Gallo, and we got men going forward. We got a chance here for Picorni. Can we find Bailey? No, we have to wait. We we'll find Lopez, though. Lopez now fights off. Can he find another goal? No. Bailey, though, on the rebound, puts it home to give us a 2-1 lead. 62nd minute, and we finally break through. We've had a lot of opportunities. The second half has not been especially good, though. But we finally get a little bit of luck. Lopez breaks through the middle. It rebounds off the keeper, and Bailey's there to pick up the pieces and smashes it into the empty net. Solomon, looking for the ball here, gets it up to Gallo. Off to Picorni. Picorni now, can he find a pass here right up the middle? Gallo gets on it, tries to put it in, and he dies. A beautiful strike, puts it past the keeper, and makes it 3-1 to here in the 69th minute as Sunderland take a two-goal lead. Ballet in the middle looking for Rinaldi, who's on a break. Rinaldi gets on the ball, drives right into the box. Can he find it? Yes, he can. It's 4-1 to one now. 
as Sunderland continue to pour it on here. 74th minute, he just makes a great run. We pick him out perfectly. He drives right past his man, gives enough power, and doesn't let him push him off the ball, and he finds the back of the net. Gustafson gets the ball out wide. It's Bailey on it here. Can he drive forward? No. Turns, holds up, goes to Valet. Valet now looking for Rinaldi. Rinaldi now. Can he find it here? Lays it wide to Gallo. Gallo now chips it in. It's Rinaldi who gets on the ball, puts it on the keeper. Rebound right to him, and Collins gets up in time to make the stop. Final minutes here tick down as Barnsley just control the ball all around the box, not really trying to do anything with it. The ref gives them a lot of extra time as they just kind of sit on the ball, and they finally blow the whistle, and it's 4-1 and another big game offensively here for Sunderland. We help the goal differential massively. That gets us up to plus 21, I believe. 12 shots, 9 on target, and we will take a big victory against 10-man Barnsley. So with the team playing so well, I don't think we're going to take Lopez out of the lineup. He's, I mean, I mean, you score, what, 11 goals in two games, and it's tough to change it, so we'll stick with them in the midfield. Let's see what we can do here against Preston North End. And we'll get this one underway. Ronaldo here, trying to find something. Looking for a gap into the box here. Looks for Picorni. Picorni taken down from behind. And it will be a penalty here for Preston North End. And we'll have a chance here. Picorni will give it to him. He earned it. We'll take it away from Bailey, and we'll put Picorni in there. Not sure how good he is. His finishing isn't great, but you know what? Bailey missed it last time, so we'll put it on him, and no. Goalkeeper guesses the right way and keeps us out. Gustafson finds a long ball here to Bailey. Now gets it on Picorni. Picorni on to Gallo. Gallo tries to turn and gets past his man. He's going to drive in there. A lot of pace here for him. Gallo takes the strike. Can't get there, tries to send it back in, but the goalkeeper recovers in time. Solomon back to Lopez, off to Gallo. Gallo gonna try and drive, gets tripped up and taken down on a good run. Bailey on a good run here. Can he find it? Gets, no, taken down again. Man, every time we get on a run, it seems like Preston North End are coming in and just absolutely chopping us down. Rinaldi gets on the ball and has a chance to bring it up. Has men going forward with him. Rinaldi, though, going to take it himself. Off one defender. Gets another defender on him. He holds up. Can he break off the defender here and create some space? No. Has to wait for Solomon. Solomon now on the ball. Back into Rinaldi. He drives in. He cuts back. Centers it here. It's looking for Gallo and Pearson gets in front of it. Oh, Solomon couldn't get there. Oh no, and they find a man right in front and they'll take a 1-0 lead in the 39th minute. Oh, that's an unfortunate one. Just unlucky. Solomon tried to get it cleared. They get right in front of him as he's trying to get the ball up. He couldn't get the pass off in time. And an easy one there to connect on a pass and put it in the back of the net. And that will do it. We'll go in the halftime down 1-0. Gustafson on the ball, looking for Rinaldi, looks for Gallo, Gallo past his man, cuts back nicely, finds a lane and off the post, then it'll find the back of the net. And just like that, we get out to a quick counterattack, and we find the ball in the back of the net, and now it's all level at one to get this second half started. A oh, good interception there, Picorni back up to Lopez, Lopez drops it along to Gallo, and couldn't beat the keeper, he gets a piece of it and goes off the sidebar. Pecora sends it down the line looking for Picorni. Picorni gets onto it. He's gonna look for Bailey, lays it out there for him perfectly. Bailey too heavy on the touch, loses the ball, gets it centered The Lopez, picks the bottom corner, and we're on top two to one here in the 62nd minute. A beautiful play there, worked out well. Bailey had a chance, he loses it, but he stays with it, centers it perfectly. And right into the back of the net, Sunderland have a 2-1 lead. Into the box, they get a good shot, and Zerilla jumps right in front of it and knocks it away. Into the box here, Preston North, and take it, oh no, it goes off of Pitchler's face. 
in into the back of the net or what I mean you would think is Pitchler's face. I don't even know where that deflection came from. Oh, we just couldn't get it cleared. They had pressure on and they just get a little bit of luck. We'll see where this one goes. And it's it is. It's right off of Pitchler's chest. Gets deflected into the back of the net, and it's another own goal. Bailey out wide with a lot of space here. He's going to run up the field. Has a lot of men coming forward. He'll try to center it. It's Visnage. Visnage now to Lopez. Drops it in. Gallo, no, too long. Oh, man, an uncontested play. Would have had a chance, and it dribbles out of bounds. Of course. Looking for a long ball, it's Valet. He just came on, he's got fresh legs. Can he beat the defense? No, centers it. It's Gallo, right in front, finds the back of the net. Three to two, 87th minute. And that should be all but over at this point. We just have to hold on for a couple more minutes and we will see ourselves with a big victory. A nice play, Valet comes on. We put him at the striker role in for Picorni as we switch Bailey out for him. When, you know, it worked well. Visnage dropped back into the midfield. And boy, did that pay off. Gallo finds the back of the net, 3-2. to two. Good cross into the box. Solomon has to deal with it. He'll get it up to Vergara on to Gallo. And final minutes will take away. It's Gallo who sends it on. It's Visnage. Visnage now dumping it up. Looking for Valet. And that will end it. It's 3-2. to two. Sunderland will take another victory here in the month of December. It was not a pretty one, but we let up an own goal. We had 10 shots, 7 on target, and we get out of here with 3 points against Preston North End. So slowly but surely, we are creeping up the table here, and just before Christmas, we are in 8th position, only 6 points away now. A big, big couple wins here in the last few games. And it doesn't get any easier. We have Huddersfield, who are just behind us ninth, and Sheffield United on Boxing Day. So it will be a big one in the next episode as we have a chance to really put a dent in their total and really see ourselves up the table here before January and have a chance at the playoffs as Southampton continue to put it in cruise control. Some of the other teams are starting to slip up. We now have the goal differential on a lot of these teams. The only ones we don't are the top third, top four. So, I mean, hopefully we can continue our run. We can continue winning. It's going to be tough, though. We don't have a very deep team, so rotation might be a problem. But we'll see how it goes in the next one. That'll do it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.